for instance, um, a small object like this one, and what will then be, what will the effect be on the simulated crowd? Will it improve or not, etc. I'm uh, Roland Gerhardt, I'm an assistant professor working at the computer science department of uh, Utrecht uh, University. Uh, next to that, I'm also a uh, founder of uh, Ucrowds, and that's a company uh, where we do simulation projects. Uh, and we also create uh, simulation software. And uh, I've been working already a long time for the university, where uh, together with a group of PG students, a postdoc and staff members, uh, we have done research on uh, simulating crowds. And uh, that has uh, resulted in a software that we are actually now selling uh, via this uh, startup, Ucrowds. So what I've done is I've set up a very simple simulation uh, where two people enter this building uh, per second. And uh, what I are, want to do is to keep uh, a distance uh, from each other. So some are keeping like a meter, some a two meters, some a one and a half meter. Um, and that gives rise to this distribution. And what we see is that uh, when people are socially distancing, that uh, the capacity of a building or a shop uh, decreases dramatically. It can go down to like 15 or 20 percent. And this is a way to interactively play with the crowd. Uh, for instance, you can study, suppose I'm going to uh, have an object, um, for instance, um, a small object like this one, and what will then be, what will the effect be on the simulated crowd? Will it improve or not, etc. Includes uh, social distancing, you have to increase uh, the personal uh, space of uh, persons. Uh, and uh, when people are walking in a small group, then you also have to increase their personal space around them. Uh, the second thing is to include social distancing is that people have to anticipate more. Uh, sometimes they are waiting uh, for other people to pass by, so in effect they are a bit more social than uh, they used to be. Uh, also cues are changing in social distancing and all these effects we are still studying and incorporating in our simulation model. So you may be wondering how we are using uh, this research actually in practice. So uh, for instance one of the projects we are doing uh, is for the Stadskantoor in uh, Utrecht and there uh, they want to gradually open up and uh, the question we get uh, from the local government is uh, what will be the new capacity of the building when people take into account uh, social distancing? And uh, there are some creative ways uh, in order to increase this uh, capacity. For instance, if you have more social groups, then there is more space. But also what is important is to spread, spread, spread. So, uh, and there are different ways to do that. And one of the ways is to uh, have multiple time slots uh, in which uh, people are arriving. And you can coordinate uh, these time slots. I'm uh, very open uh, for collaboration, uh, so to do research together, but also to do simulation projects uh, together with you.